etiquette that distinguish you from others facilitators of Kilawi? Um, I guess it's what people tell me because then it's not me necessarily. I can also say my own strengths now with more confidence since doing this work. <laughs> what people have told me is that I hold a sacred space, um, that I'm quite gentle, but mm -hmm. still focused in the work. Um, that they feel trust and relaxed with me um, and that I have a depth of knowledge that's helpful that I bring in from things like nervous system regulation. Um, and I know how to hold big energy because I've held it in myself mm -hmm. um, and sort of have that sense of self-care and compassion. I think they're all the things. I think there's a lot of facilitators with that, that too. I wouldn't say that's mm -hmm. just unique to me, but... I think we resonate with who we resonate and I think we all choose who we need to choose also when we're looking. And I trust mm -hmm. that that's, that's what I, I attract people that will come for maybe a nurturing understanding presence. Uh, so how do you understand the process of healing with Kilobi? Yeah, I feel like it's very, it is a quite direct path to emotional release. Um, And it's always pointing you back to your own weaknesses and vulnerabilities, which become your strength because it is all about being vulnerable, which is very difficult sometimes because mm -hmm. we have so many masks and defense mechanisms. But unless we're really able to go to those vulnerable emotions, they stay locked in the body as do the stories. So I feel that the ways that it's been, it's evolved is, is good, is really good. Um, and also there's lots of, community support meetings, um, opportunities to reach out to people, to talk. Um, so it's a clever method. There's lots in it, you know, from all the different dimensions. And um, yeah, I feel pretty, what's the right word? In line with it, mostly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, so how many years a person need to really heal a deep trauma? And I mean, deep trauma, I mean, like things that they experience like a, in a childhood, like rapes and abandoned from parents and these kind of things, you know, of words, I don't know. Yeah, I think that it can be very challenging with very deep, complex trauma. Um And never to, but I also do think we're amazingly resilient people and we've all got a deep desire to heal and evolve and clear that stuff with the right support and help. So I don't think anybody could underestimate themselves and maybe mm -hmm. someone from the most dire circumstance. And it, I mean, the good thing about this is it has a way of meeting that sleepiness and making it conscious. So even though it might not move in that session, mm -hmm. You know, the more and more that's happening, the more easier it is to start to recognize every way that the body and mind turn away. It's a, it's an honoring of different people and different circumstances and their their body's pace, mm -hmm. but also working out where what can be helpful to bring them back. And I think healing, the word implies we're going to be someone else. I think there's gradual layers that just get lifted to making us feel more free. Um, okay. yeah. mm. 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 Mm.